As you look to this week possibly not having Jones and, and Brown, how is your confidence level just in Chester Rogers and his ability to step up and, and be a guy to, to help you guys out? Yeah, I think uh, we have a, a unique set of circumstances around you know uh, our position group there with the wide receivers and that we got a lot of work with those guys and Ryan in training camp. So got to see those guys produce uh, throughout August and, and into September and certainly feel great about Chester as well as a number of other guys at that spot. Also, in the passing game, if you do get Anthony back, what does that mean? I know other Titans have been involved in the passing game, but I guess is that a little bit more of a maybe primary option for you if Anthony is out there you know his uh his receiving skill set is certainly unique and something that that we missed uh and so we're excited to see where he's at and see if he can contribute i think he certainly could help us in a lot of areas yeah rogers specifically what is it that he brings to the table you know to make him such an attractive option for tennis yeah he has a good you know skill set of getting open versus man coverage you know lateral quickness and his ability to get in and out of cuts and uh you know he's seen a lot of football and uh, can digest things on the move. So, you know, he's a he's a polished receiver that we're excited to have on our team. Josh Reynolds, this may be an opportunity for him, I guess, if if A.J. and Julio aren't available. And, and you know, kind of what what have you seen from him, you know, to, to date? Yeah, Josh has been working hard. He he really has. And, and it's, uh, you know, been a, a lot of different factors that have uh, gotten us to, to this point. But he's uh, certainly a, a big part of this offense. Uh, you know, just his attitude, his approach, his demeanor. Uh, you know, we got to make sure that, uh, you know, if, if he's able to go and contribute, that we have some stuff in there for him. And I, I believe that he's a, you know, he's a guy that can contribute as a different skill set than some of the other guys we've already mentioned. Uh, has some length, has some smooth route running ability. So uh, excited to see uh, where Josh is at and where we're at going into this, this Sunday. Drastically, I guess, did his role change, I guess you could say this about a lot of the receivers, but when you guys signed Julio, how much did things change, you know, in the, in the Josh Reynolds picture? Yeah, it's certainly a, a trickle-down effect there, you know, uh, and, and I think that we've, we've always preached here, find a way to carve out a role, you know, and I think that that was hampered a little bit by Josh's availability through things also, uh, and so we're, we're kind of still in process with that, you know, and, and I think that uh, this week will be a big step to figuring some of that out. Not on the injury report, or you know, he was not injured technically last game. Is there still any like after effect from the foot Achilles for him that is that he's still kind of coming back from at this point? You know, that'd be a question for the the medical staff and and for the head coach. I just kind of wait till I see who's available out there and and let him get rolling. Derek kind of uh, kind of laughed laughed a little bit when we asked him about his workload. I guess it's his OC. How uh, how do you kind of find a balance and want to get as much as you can out of him, but also you know when you don't want to maybe wear this guy out uh, in September? Yeah, the, the balance is wins and losses. Yeah, the balance is wins and losses. So that, that's the scale uh, that I'm I'm trying to keep balanced, doing what I can to put people in positions to help this team win. Okay, the more you the ball, I guess that. In your mind, that gives you a better chance to, to win? Is that kind of <laughs> Get, Getting Derrick Henry the ball gives us a, a better chance to win, yeah. Look at the seven turnovers. They've come in a lot of different ways. What sort of needs to happen to, to get that trend reversed? Yeah, everybody needs to take it personal. You know, we, we need to protect the football. We've turned the ball over far too many times. That's not us. It's not going to be us. It starts with me and emphasizing it every single opportunity I get. Uh, and, and everybody needs to take it personal. We need to protect that ball like we're protecting it for everybody else's family and kids and livelihoods because we are. Uh, and, and that's an area of our offense that, that we need to get fixed quickly. And yesterday that he was adding a couple periods of practice for each position group to work on, I guess, you know, receivers, ball security, Tannehill with decision making. How did that go and what's sort of the effect of, of an emphasis like that? I think it went well. The guys realize, uh, you know, where we're at and, and how far it is from where we want to be in that department. Uh, and so, you know, I think everybody took it uh, very serious and, and very intentional and uh, we got a lot of good work. Pressure is kind of lessened. Not to, to have Henry on the field on the fourth and two in Seattle. Is it difficult to take him off the field in third and medium or, or long, considering that defenses fear him probably the most of all? Yeah, I think it's a, a case by case basis for sure. Uh, you know, like the the Seattle one that you mentioned, we are have already discussed. We went from third and long and then went right on the ball uh, into a fourth down play. 
uh, in a no huddle scenario. So it was going to be difficult to sub them anyways without giving them a chance to match. Um, you know, and then there are some times where schematically you're trying to take advantage of certain things, so you're going to want them in there, and sometimes you're going to want, you know, Jeremy in there, uh, um, you know, or, or somebody else. So it's to me, it's a case by case basis. What's Racy's development been like as a receiver? I know he's probably in there more for special teams than, but where things stand now, how's he progressing in terms of being able to be an option? Yeah, he has a, a lot of uh, neat physical tools. You know, he's a big guy who can run. He's he's tough. He's tenacious. Rob's been working very, very hard with him, uh, just trying to get some of those techniques down and some of the things that we'll ask him to do here that maybe he hasn't done in his receiving past. Uh, and I think he's coming along well. You know, we're excited about where Racy's at and, and above all else, his mindset to want to do anything to help this team. That's, uh, that's a great starting point. If you mentioned it earlier, not just Chester last week, but a number of guys were able to step up when AJ and Julio went down. How good was that uh, to see? And what does it say about those guys' readiness to contribute when needed? Yeah, it was great to see, and it, and it fits the, the culture that we've created here from the top down. You know, or it's next man up mentality, and I know you guys have heard that, that line a bunch. That's not coach speak or, or jargon or anybody trying to, uh, you know, blow smoke. That's, that's how we operate around here. And guys like Nick Westbrook stepping in there and, and making some big plays, Racy going in, doing some things, Cam Batson all over the field, blocking downfield while other guys have the ball in their hands. Like watching those guys play without the ball in their hands, that's what gets me fired up is their commitment, their love for this team, and, and trying to jump in and be ready whenever called upon. How does a maybe receiver earn your trust, and maybe how much does that trust influence how much a guy's out there, how much your opportunities you're willing to give him? Yeah, if if he can be where he's supposed to be when he's supposed to be there, uh, you know that's that's a great place to start. And that holds true in the run game as well as the pass game. You know, we ask a lot of our receivers in the run game here. Obviously, we're a, a run foundation offense, uh, and so they need to know who to block and how to block them. And then they need to be able to fit into the pass schemes. And I, yeah, I think versatility and interchangeability is a, a big piece of it as well, knowing where to play in multiple spots. So if someone does go down, we can throw any one of them in there and not skip a beat. So um, you know, those, those guys have done a nice job of that over the last couple of weeks and excited to see uh, what the future holds. Rabel mentioned Nick in particular in terms of you know, playing all three positions seamlessly. Is that beyond the norm, like his knowledge of, the, of everyone's job and every play I think that's something that jumped out uh, about Nick last year you know was his ability to jump in and play different spots he jumped into two minute drills and played the slot and then he'd play outside and give you know Corey or, or AJ a blow uh, and and you know certainly we had games where guys weren't available and he jumped in and did well uh, in those roles he's just built on that since then you know he's grown in his confidence uh, he understands and has command of this offense and, and all three positions at the wide receiver spot so although I wouldn't say that it's, it's something unique, it's certainly a characteristic that makes us trust him quite a bit. Marcus kind of right back on the level where he was, you know, so good in camp, or, or you know, will that take a little bit of time after three weeks? Yeah, he's coming along. You know, I think anytime you're transitioning back into play, you know, um, there's a, a knocking the rust off uh, a little bit, you know, just physically. Um, but he's been working really hard mentally and paying attention in meetings, and you know I, I don't anticipate that being uh, too long a process for him when he is ready. Anything you, that you need to see from him, or is it more just about conditioning and and kind of being back in the flow? Yeah, I think the physical aspect of that stuff is is up to different departments. You know where he's at physically and conditioning wise and and health wise and all that. For me, it's a, a consistency thing. Can he get back to where he was uh, on a rep in and rep out basis? Uh, you know, without having any hiccups. And if he's, uh, if I'm told he's available, great. And uh, we'll go from there.